Alright guys, welcome back to Stuck on Anana where I'm stuck with you guys and we're always smiling. No, I did not kill the chicken. That is a store-bought chicken that I just lifted just now. I got a comment uh, recently, well actually it was today, you know, someone said, you know, because I always say love, nature and adaptation at the end of the videos. You know, I'm a horrible person because I'm going out there to catch fish or eating meat. It's nature. It, it happens out there. Shout out to all the vegans, you know, the persons who are vegans or vegetarians and they still watch when I do some cooking. I appreciate you guys so much. But anyway, in today's dish, we're going to actually be doing uh, a roast chicken. It's one of the first things that I learned while I was studying food preparation. Um, it's very simple and easy. You can basically do a roast chicken by just adding salt and some black pepper. A lot of salt because the salt helps to dehydrate like the skin so you get a very crispy type of thing but we're gonna actually be kicking it up you know a little bit higher because you know it is very nice BMB so we're gonna be doing something a little bit nicer so let's get into that really quick guys and I'm sure you guys gonna enjoy this video if you watch all my videos drop a like on the video if you just appreciate cooking drop a like all right so here we have our chicken there um, it's already washed already, you know us Caribbean people love washing the meat. We wash it with some vinegar in some water. So the key thing is to make sure your chicken is as dry as possible. Because what you really want is again, you want the, the skin to be very crispy. So you're gonna you know pat it dry with um, you know disposable hand towel as much as you can. Yeah, let me have feel of the chicken, but I say things at some time. Alright, and yeah, it's basically dry. If you have like a, a rack that you can put it on for a little bit, then go ahead and do that. But make sure it's not for too long because you don't want you know bacteria to actually start building up your meat. Alright, so in here we have some margarine. I like buying the margarine because it's it's a lot cheaper than butter, but if you have butter then definitely use that. Um, and clarified. When it means by clarified butter, it just means that the butter has been melted. So we have some butter. I don't really like measuring stuff, so some butter, a bit of orange juice, um, what else do I put in there? Some olive oil as well. This is what we're going to use to pretty much pour over the chicken as a part of the season. And you guys know, I'm always strange. Add a little bit of ginger extract, and that will be that. Alright, so we're going to basically just to pour some of this butter over our chicken. Pour it all over, all over. Of course, get some on the inside as well. Alright, now that our chicken is under. I'm gonna add some salt. Again, it's the same Himalayan salt. Another other persons always go, oh, too much salt, but in this case, you definitely do need a lot of salt because, um, you, as I said before, you want to dehydrate the skin. Can I ask you a question, Coach? Mm -hmm. Ever since I've been cooking, have I ever made like a salty meal? To be honest, no, don't stop. No, okay. Just... no, no, no. Is it the Himalayan salt for real? It's a different, 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 different vibe from just the regular sea salt. Trust me. So we have the salt there. Um, some black pepper. And then we're going to do the same thing for the next side. So now this is what makes it a garlic roast basically. We're gonna add a lot of garlic minced cloves onto it. A lot all over. A lot of garlic on there. Make sure you have a season in the cavity as well. Then the next part we're gonna put in some herbs in there. 
All right, so this is gonna be the tricky part, cause <laughs> let's hope it can fit. So garlic's gone in. I actually had a whole onion that That's so weird, bro. <laughs> but anyway, um, we watched some um, time, you guys know, you know, it's Caribbean people love time. So, I'm just gonna put that in. It's funny, Caribbean people love time, but we're not good with time. <laughs> we're always late. <laughs> well, not, not all of us, because I'm not that bad. Um, so, we have that. Now, generally, when you're doing um, chicken, it's good to bind the legs. Reason being, you want to keep it as tight as possible, everything as close as possible. I don't have any um I don't have any string but how they normally package it out here, I don't know if it's the same in the US. They actually have a cut. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use the same skin and just try to redo. What they do when they sell it. So hold on guys, bear with me. Alright now. The quick trick that I learned when I was doing roast chicken before, same thing with the, the wings. The wings are very small, so they end up, um, how can I say? They, they, they cook really fast, so you want to have it tucked as close as possible to the bird. Oh my god, I forgot how they did it, bro. Yeah, <laughs> I literally forgot how they did it. Alright, I just did some quick research, guys, because sometimes you forget stuff that you learned years ago, but usually it was some, it was some kind of crisscross type of thing, but what I saw, was just basically tucking it like that, which is not what I remember to be quite honest. Or maybe this chicken is just too too fat, you know. <laughs> it's like, but anyway, that's basically that. So what I'm gonna do is gonna get the pan really quick. And I'm gonna put it in. I'm gonna throw some um, parsley on top. All right. So let's put the beautiful bird down into that. And of course, gonna toss. Make sure I get the garlic, everything that's in there on top of it. And if you have fresh parsley flakes, use a fresh one. I buy these dried one, but simply because they won't go bad on me. They'll be there for quite some time. So that's that. And um, I still do have some, some butter, or well, really margarine. I'm gonna throw on top of that really quick. And don't worry about it, it's gonna be melted out inside of the oven for sure. And we're gonna do some basting, so. All right, so. Just add a little bit more of that on top. Don't worry, I know it looks kinda weird right now. Cause margarine does tend to go back to its solid form, especially because the citrus is in it. All right, let's pop it into the oven. All right, of course, I added some a couple of sticks of butter just to keep it from sticking too much. And the oven is on 420 degrees, so I'm gonna do this for like an hour and 20 minutes. Halfway through, I'm gonna start basting it. But for now, it should be good. I'm just a bit curious. <laughs> All right. Yeah, it's a tech time I got you. No bad, no bad. Wow, looks good already. The pan is super hot. So I'm gonna take it all really quick and then start basting. All right, so the cool part about this Airbnb that I'm in, there's actually a mitt, so I'm happy about that. And there's a mitt here that we could use for the oven. It might sound like a very small thing, but it's very important. Especially when you're offering a full kitchen. So anyway, we're gonna start basting it a bit. And what basting is is just basically throwing all those good juices that is at the bottom of the pan on top of the chicken. There's no way it's gonna get on top of there without your help, yeah. And that's going to also help to get the chicken to evenly start browning all over. So the chicken is like halfway there, halfway done at the halfway point, and then we're gonna add it back in. There's a bit of um, char that you might see. That's coming from the bottom of the pan, that's fine. 
we won't die. So now we have that all over on the chicken, we're just gonna pop it back in and cook it for another about 30 minutes and we should be done. <laughs> Alright, so I had Keanu work on some creamy mashed potatoes. If you guys want to see this video, definitely make sure that you jump on the link. It's going to be a video on my channel called Creamy Mashed Potatoes. It's there. So, this is going to be for his girl. So, some mashed potatoes. I always like garnishing with a little bit of time. Here it is. Nice and crispy. Yeah, hopefully I, I cut this apart right. which is the agantai. Move that nice and neatly. And then kids, make sure that you eat up your greens. from the chicken and then that's cool. Sure, her dress and her outfit and everything like that when you could have seen. Mm. This is a dress for impress. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a hot, date night. Hot too hot. Hot too hot. Mm. Your boyfriend made the potatoes. Tarty. Yeah, you did. <laughs> <laughs> Delicious. This is real good. And these again. The pond. Monkey, this is food porn. <laughs> this is really good. I'm gonna hire you. <laughs> I am going to hire you. 
<laughs> and the wedding is soon, so. <laughs> you will never hey, know. Yeah. Like I bought roast chicken before and tried it, and it was horrible. Like I told myself, like I'm never eating this thing again. Mm -hmm. And like this is wow, my wow moment. Appreciate yeah, this is really good. Because I share up my food. Just look at the angle. Look at the angle of the plate. <laughs> the presentation. <laughs> you forgot my time, bro. Of my potatoes. <laughs> Got you now? Salt, babe. A time. You can't like as I'm wet. You have to do the arm. Um, no matter. The dry time leaves. You, know, you guys like um, being a part of the plate, so give you my review on it to me. Yeah, it's good. Mm hmm. So, what's your spouse? Then the shell, okay. Hmm? Then the shell, yes, man. You like butter sauce, huh? It's nice, I mean, the way you do it, like make not one with fifth vegetables. Like sometimes people just say fresh and all of that stuff. Mm -hmm. But like with it, it has a lot of flavor to it, so like it's enjoyable. Mm -hmm. I'm not eating vegetable that's just fresh and just vegetable. So it has said, a lot of flavor. Me really like I said, eat off two of them quick, quick yeah. and fast and no, none in their plate. Right, it's really good. So you know, traditionally we always have Sir Keanu is the one that gets rude because we tie them out. We make Nikki and do it so. We know no one can review what you have now. My review is mm -hmm. roast chicken should always be done like this. <laughs> End quote. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, and that basically wraps up another video. Um, it was cool and interesting cooking that, to be quite honest. I really enjoyed it. Um, the only thing that's left on the place right now are just freaking carcasses, which is a really good vibe. <laughs> anyway guys, remember, remember these three things, love, nature, adaptation, and I always remember, keep the link. <laughs>